Hello and welcome to this quick video. This quick video is for this gentleman here, KRMFPS. Now he was asking, can you set up a servo so that it moves less on one side than the other? And specifically on a radio running ethos. This is my FreeSky X18S. I've just updated this to version, I think it's 1.4.2 of ethos. And there is a couple of ways to do it. There's a very simple way and there's a more complicated way using curves. So the answer is a resounding absolutely. So let me jump on the bench and zoom in on the screen and let me show you the two ways that you can do it. Just a quick couple of words of caution about this. This chap is asking specifically about ailerons and that's quite common. You might want the aileron to move up less than it moves down or more likely things like elevators are very handy to use this kind of function on where for example you might want a much more aggressive up elevator than down elevator and it's a way to handle that however using something like a y cable for ailerons isn't always the best way to do it typically you want to apply this servo by servo rather than have two servos slaved together so you might find that if you want to do this on ailerons that have a servo out in each wing which is kind of classically how it's done you might want to have two channels one for each of the servos rather than use a y cable but with that said let me show you the two options that are very easy to set it up so here we are looking at a very basic model on the radio this is a pretty classic plane setup so let's go into the mixer here and you can see I have aileron elevator throttle and rudder and if I click on aileron you can see that the red line here in the graph on the right hand side denotes it's a linear relationship between the control and the output so as I move the aileron on the radio you can see that's kind of that little dot is kind of flying up and down. However if I look at the elevator then I have some differential set on here so the, I move the elevator you can see it moves less in the negative direction as it does in the positive direction and that's what that little red line is showing and to set that up what i've done is i've gone in here and set up something called differential now differential is that thing that allows you to change one side of the movement and again if you actually go down to the very bottom here you can see on channel two you can see that it's actually limiting not only the input but the output as well and you can change the differential to be whatever you want you could even uh, turn it off completely so we could if we press and hold enter on that we can just say set to minimum and now what we've got here is we have a, an elevator that works in one direction but not the other now this isn't super handy in this latest version of ethos as it should be so if you're playing with this i would always recommend use your latest and greatest version of ethos so for example in the aileron if i go into the aileron and edit it then if i can't select differential differential is not something that allows me to select in here however we can kind of work around that because what we can do is all this is on the right hand side is showing you a curve so if we come out of here and we go into the curves, we can actually add one. So let's add a curve. We'll call it ale. There we go. We'll say enter. The type, we'll just put a simple uh, custom curve. And then we'll make sure the smoothing's on and easy mode is turned on. And then as we scroll down, you can see here at the moment, it's just a simple red line. We can actually change things. So let's make one of those lines so we'll have that as minus 50 we'll have the next one down as minus 25 and then we'll keep the middle position as zero and then we'll go for this one we'll make it 50 so essentially we're making the same thing and actually using curves like this is incredibly powerful because it allows you to change not only the direction of the output and the amount of maximum travel it also allows you to do things like alter the way the servo moves throughout its entire travel it's incredibly powerful so there we go curve one is set so we can go back into the mixer into the aileron and we can edit it and then we can add a curve so we're going to call it ale there's one we've just set up and there we have the same effect that we had set up on other things too so 
Differential is the way to do it that's very basic and simple. However, for more complicated setups, also being able to do things in curves and to do some very sophisticated stuff with changing midpoints, also add kind of um, slow and fast movement throughout the travel, this is a really cool way to do it. So differential occurs is the way I tackle this. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.